Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So you may notice by the title of this video that yes, I did get a breast augmentation surgery here in South Korea. So a brief backstory before anyone jumps to judging and getting too serious about this is that I personally have wanted breast augmentation surgery literally ever since I was 16 years old. Now that may seem drastic to some of you guys out there, but when I was 16, I didn't grow beyond an A cup. So I have been quite um, on the small side since I was um, a teenager. And um, my sister was always a nice full C cup and I always wondered when am I gonna grow and it just never happened. And I wanted to feel confident going to the beach in swimsuits. I wanted to feel confident in my clothing. And the thing that bugged me the most is that I never felt proportionate in my own body. And that is something that a lot of people can feel very um, upset about because as humans, we all seek symmetry and proportion in things. But when you don't have it on areas of your body, it can really uh, bring you down and bother you on a daily basis. Some people may think a 34A cup isn't entirely flat, but for me and um, how I looked in proportion to the rest of my body, especially since I tend to have a bit of a wider rib cage. It makes my back look bigger and my chest just didn't match. It just didn't match. When I came to South Korea, I already knew that plastic surgery was really big here and really high in technology, but I didn't realize how high in technology it was. Now I've always been preparing to get um, breast augmentation surgery, but I never had the guts to go and do it. I never felt secure in what I was doing. But I learned a lot about breast augmentation here in Korea and I found a cosmetic surgery clinic called La Prin Plastic Surgery and they had very high technology and they had the type of breast implants that would best suit my body type. And those types of implants are the teardrop implants. I actually know a few people that have them and they look so natural that you can't even tell that they have... Um, had breast surgery and the teardrop shape implants is one of the most popular here in South Korea and the clinic that I decided to go with Laprine Plastic Surgery actually specializes in doing no pain teardrop implant surgery. So that technology just it blew my mind that they could do breast augmentation surgery without any pain and while doing it with the teardrop shape implants that can be more difficult to place inside the breasts. Um, when I had my consultation there, they also had 3D imaging to show you what your real breasts would look like as the shape and size that you wanted them to be. So for me, seeing visually my real chest in 3D photography on a big screen, um, seeing my A cup sized breasts then seeing them side by side with a comparison of my breasts as a full C cup in the teardrop shape was so beautiful and so amazing to see that I, I had to get it. I just had to get it. The doctors at Laprine Plastic Surgery are also super professional and really know what they're doing. They have a lot of training and they're very sound in what they can do in their technology that they have. They also were really friendly and really truthful and honest with me on what I could do on my body and what sizes I could go up to before it would look weird. The doctors can also speak some English, but they have some designated English-speaking staff for foreigners like me who are coming in and wanting to get work done. So if any of you are interested in getting plastic surgery here in South Korea, I highly recommend Laprin Plastic Surgery since they really made my experience really good and the fact that they had help with English speaking staff was also really amazing for me. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my day one of surgery. So at the end of this clip, you guys are gonna be with me at the hospital right before I go in and get the surgery done. And then you're gonna be with me when I wake up and when I get home. Okay, so let's go to the hospital. Hi everyone. So I'm at Leprine now and I'm about to go in and get my surgery. I guess I'm a bit nervous, but I'm actually more excited. I'm just going to show you guys around. It's really fancy here. So this is the area where they get you ready to go in for surgery. And it's really clean and really professional. So I'm like super surprised. Even behind me here, they have like this sanitizing room where it like air sanitizes your body and I already went in there and it was so intense. So yeah, I'm really excited. So here we go. Hey guys, so I just woke up and Kyle's here to keep me company and I'm pretty sure we're in a private room because like 
I saw another room and there was like a ton of beds in it, but we get our own like secluded room, which is pretty sweet. And it's even nicer because the bed is heated. Um, pain wise for just waking up, there's like no pain at all. I really just feel like sore on the sides and the lower part, which is great because when I had um, um, tonsils removed, it was like instant pain and nausea. But this time I don't feel sick at all. I'm just really, really thirsty. You may be able to tell by my voice because I'm like so dehydrated that I have like the pasties. But otherwise, like I'm so impressed because like I was expecting to have like a lot of pain when I woke up and discomfort where I would need to like tell them that like I hurt, I need like something for it. But I pretty much feel fine. It's just really hard to like move my um, arms. So yeah, I'll update you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I just ate all this food. One, two, three plates of food. Just, what did I say? Three. Four plates of food. <laughs> Four plates of food. I was so hungry, but the food was so, so good. And now I have a mango yogurt smoothie. And it's really good too. So I right now am up in the beauty lounge and here they do like IV drips and they have like a ton of them which is really really cool because I've always been interested in IV drips because it's like really good for boosting your immune system. But the fact that I just got out of surgery like maybe an hour ago, an hour and a half ago and I'm able to eat, cut my own food and drink this smoothie without feeling sick and as you can see, I'm pretty much coherent now. It's pretty impressive and I have like no pain, so it's awesome. So this is what the upstairs beauty lounge looks like. So behind me, we have a cafe where you can like get anything you want for drinks and stuff like that. Then over here, we have the beauty lounge area so you go in there if you want to do stuff like IVs and waxing and all those beauty treatments. It's not really surgery things but like basic stuff. Then behind me here you have the IV bar where you can see your choices of things that you want which is really cool. And this is more of the area if you can see. And look even the fact that I'm able to like hold my selfie stick like an hour and a half after surgery is pretty impressive. So it's really cool up here. I think it's really cute and really pretty and good for relaxing as well. So this is it. So this isn't the main floor where I got my surgery done. This is the fourth floor, I think, up top. Sixth? This is the sixth floor up top. Um, the first floor is where you would naturally go in if you want to enter the building and talk about like, you know, I'm here to get this done and stuff. Then you go down to the basement level. That's where they have the sanitary zone where you can do your surgeries and stuff like that. That's where I was where I showed you the video clip before. And I'm just up here relaxing and eating before I head out because I can leave the same day because that is how fine and not in pain and totally normal I am. So let's head home and in fact I am taking the subway home because I am totally fine and don't need to take a cab. so let's go. Hey guys, so I just got home, um, Kyle and I took the subway home like I said before. Uh, unfortunately we didn't realize that it was after work hours so the subway was kind of crowded but um, it still was pretty easy for me to do so especially since I'm used to taking the subway every day for work so no big deal. Um, right now, pain-wise, there isn't really any pain um, at all. It's just still sore. My cat wants to cuddle with me, but that's not happening. <laughs> no. No. Don't you dare jump up here. I'll kill you. So yeah, I just took my medicine and I'm feeling pretty sleepy, so I'm gonna nap for a while and see how I feel when I wake up. So see you later. Okay, so that's it. That was my day one of getting breast augmentation here in South Korea. Remember to subscribe to see the next video. It's going to be all about my two-week recovery process and how this no-pain plastic surgery really went for me. So make sure you subscribe to see that video and what my before and afters continue to look like throughout time and what my scars look like and all that good stuff.
If you guys have any questions about Laprine plastic surgery or getting plastic surgery here in South Korea, then make sure you ask me in the comments section down below because I would love to answer the questions on this difficult and touchy subject here on YouTube. Make sure you check out the blog post down below that has my whole backstory on why I'm getting um, my boobs done here in South Korea, why I chose to do it here and all about Laprine and why I chose them and prices as well on how much it costs to get breast augmentation done here. I will have the price listed in the blog post, so make sure you do check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys! So it's after my post-op, it's day two for post-op. So I guess it's now day three post-surgery. It's day four post-op and I'm here at the office right now.